Hey, good morning, Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're at an old home in Dilworth, Charlotte, North Carolina. Dilworth is a historical section. These homes were built, you know, for Charlotte, they're pretty old. They're built right around 1900. But what we're doing is we're cleaning a downspout drain. Um, these homes have basements, so the downspout drain becomes very important. If it's backing up, it's dropping down into that basement line, or dropping down into the basement. What we're doing is we're putting our drain cleaning machine out here. This is a Spartan 1065, has a sp spring wound steel cable. The downspout drain's right here, kind of overgrown, but we're gonna stick it in there and clean this line all the way back to the back. So the way this machine works, you can see the reel spinning. That continues to spin. Push the cable down through the line slowly. If it hits something down there, that end of the cable will stop spinning, but the reel keeps going. It builds up tension on that spring wound cable and eventually will spin itself free. But I don't think there's anything in here except for mud, but we still have to go rather, rather slow. So now we're pulling back our cable. We really shouldn't find anything on it. We might find a little bit of grass. You gotta get this off of there. You can pull it back quite, quite quickly. Just make sure it goes in the machine. So typically in a downspout drain that has a belly in it, in other words, the line kind of runs up and downhill, you'll see this material right here. If you don't recognize this, this is asphalt material, roofing material, and it drops into your gutter. Of course, it builds up. This is almost like grease, really difficult for the water to get through that. So we've cleaned the line. And you can see it just still pushing that stuff out of there. Water is the best thing to move that, but sometimes the cable really helps clean. So most homes have two downspouts, uh, two different drains that come out. Now we're on the other side over here. This line comes out here by the alley. We've actually made some repairs on this line in the past, but you can see these, um, lots of these bushes, these trees are so overgrown through here that uh, we need to clean through here. A lot of tree roots could be in the line. This line runs all the way back to their garage picks up all the downspouts on the house and a catch basin in the backyard. So again, you can see the basement window here. This downspout here on the alley side, there's lots of downspouts that hook onto this line. Those lines come down through here, of course, and if the downspout drain backs up, it ends up right down in that basement. So we've added a clean out here over the years to have access here just in case. But the line runs all the way down to the end of the alley. It's about 200 feet long. We have just enough cable to get through this line. Let's take a look, see how Gerald's doing out here. Doing good. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains in Charlotte, North Carolina, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.